Welcome everybody to an edition of Blooms for You. We have an episode here with some blooms that have opened in the previous weeks that I want to dedicate to everybody I have on a list, whether you've subscribed and I can see it or whether you just commented. So we have some names that have come up, some blooms that have opened, and I hope that you enjoy this episode of Blooms for You. If your name has not come up this time around, trust me, if you have commented and I can see you've subscribed, it will be on that list and eventually there will be a bloom for you as well. But for everybody that is not mentioned here today, I have a few blooms collective from my Encyclia, sorry, Prostechia Garciana Alba. Not many, but there are some beauties opening up nicely, smelling fabulously of fantastic powdery talcum powder, ever so elegant. And I have more buds to come. And I have greetings from cousin It. There he is. Woohoo! Look at him. He is starting. He is starting to come into bloom. There will be more of him in the future. There'll be lots of him because he's only just at the beginning. And there are plenty, plenty of buds in and amongst his fabulous foliage in there. Everybody is still tucked away, but these that get a lot of light, they are already open. So I dedicate those to you. And pobre, pobre Hibiki. I also have a few nice looking clusters still remaining that I'd like to add to the collection of dedication to everybody that watches this video. Uh, he is starting to fade pretty quickly now. He's already in active growth with new growths as well, but yeah, mealybugs are trying to take hold. I've been busy cleaning him, but yeah, this beautiful cluster still tucked away down there they also bloom for you to say thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching this video. I hope that if you have never commented on my channel that you will consider doing so so that I can add you to the list and then eventually there will be a bloom for you as well. So let's go and have a look-see at what else has opened up and whose names have come up. Isn't she beautiful? This is what I consider a claw bloom. <laughs> this bloom doesn't really open up. This is Rincodendron Cabalgata in Verde. You see how it sort of kind of stays closed like a claw? It's a bit of a shame, actually. I thought at the beginning this bloom would only do that because she was young and mature, but I guess that's part of the trait of this bloom. Don't know. I still love it though. Also because I can see the anthocyanin sepals in the back here, which give it a nice little contrast, even though the bloom doesn't open up flat. Still, I do hope that La Ricetta de Sia Grazie and Gran H like this bloom when you see it, because these two blooms, I dedicate one each to you, La Ricetta de Sia Grazie and Gran H. This is Rincodendrum cabalgata verde, and it is a cross between Poilus stylus ciliaris and Brassavola digbiana. Both parents I have. My Poilus stylus ciliaris did not bloom for me this year in 2021. My Brassavola digbiana did, but I am quite happy to be able to say at least my Rincodendrum cabalgata en verde is blooming and she has that Digbiana fragrance, mild lemon, citrusy kind of a fragrance. I think she's beautiful and elegant, even though I have two blooms that are, you know, reluctant to separate and reluctant to open. But I do love the lip. Brassabola Digbiana parent very very evident here the coilostylus ciliaris parent also very evident it's like 50 50 best of both worlds have met in a single bloom and i can look beyond the fact that they aren't opening flat and in my case they never will but just beautiful in my opinion beautiful and once again, I think that because the sepals have this tint and they are a little bit closed, 
it gives a nice dimension of contrast and detail to the bloom itself. Yeah, I love this orchid. Very pleased to see the bloom. It has a little bit of a quirk in the fact that it produces two growths in a season. The first growth never blooms. Don't know why, hasn't done so in my collection. But then this being the second growth right here, and it's bloomed. It's doing that every single year that I have this. One growth comes, but at least the one growth that doesn't bloom produces a nice root system. So there's that. Anyway, for La Ricetta de Zia Grazie and Gran H, my Rincodendron Cavalgata and Verde Blooms are for you. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. Couldn't be happier to see these blooms again and dedicate them to the two of you. Grazie mille and thank you. Assuming one is Italian, I cannot assume what Gan H is. So, grazie mille, le ricette de zia, grazie, and Gran H. Your support is very much appreciated. I really hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. Surprise! Look at this! I have two dendrobium. Victoria Regina blooms and it is awkward the way I have positioned this orchid but I did promise someone that I was going to try and film her so that the true color is what is in the viewfinder as opposed to trying to explain the color of a Dendrobium Victoria Regina and I have to say I think I just about got it right maybe the image at the end of this clip will show what I'm talking about but this is as close as it's going to get so it is a little bit awkwardly positioned, but for the purposes of saying thank you to Irene Vlogs for your support on my channel here, surprise Dendrobium Victoria Regina blooms this time of year. Who'd have thunk? I certainly didn't, but again, I'll take it. I'll take it. Look at the... Um, and it's the variety on this cane. I have, I think, three different varieties. It's not all one plant but this is the one with the most saturated color. And then the little white tips on the petals and sepals there. It reminds me of little puppies when the tails go wagging around and you can see the little white tips just in a litter of puppies and little waggy tails. I don't know if that makes sense. Probably doesn't do the bloom justice when I talk about it like that. But yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. I'm also, really appreciative of the fact that I think I've got the color right but every time I move the bloom the camera is trying to pick up on something else there about like that is how she looks in real life gorgeous now this one's been open for more than a week now still looking lovely and fresh this one has only just opened but I couldn't wait I wanted to get these in their prime so that I don't get any misleading information about the color. Now, why there are such heavy indentation on these petals, I do not know. There you go. That's the color. That's the color. Irene vlogs. Her Majesty, Her Royal Highness, Dendrobium Victoria Regina, she blooms for you to say thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. And I think eventually, if I am not mistaken, this cane is trying to do it again up here. Oh, that would be amazing. I'm not holding my breath though, but this cane seems to be wanting to do something and every little bit is welcome. The orchid is such, let's go up a bit. The orchid is such is also doing fabulous. That little cakey that we took off last year and propagated, put it on the mount is just about done growing. Hello, discovery time, what's going on? Gotta watch out for the pests or is that just water, which is not good either. That means my water was too hard. I'll figure that out afterwards. But the growth that, are, that started in the spring, they're extending nicely. And the little growth that I thought I had compromised, nope, there it is, doing quite well, all in its own right. So yes, we shall see what this orchid does come spring 2022. 
we'll be able to see several varieties of Victoria Regina blooms on one mound. But here we have the money shot and the right color shot as well. So I hope that Anna Raita, who was asking about the color or the true color of a Dendrobium Victoria Regina, this is 99, maybe, okay, let's not exaggerate, 98% the true color of what I am seeing with my eyes, as opposed to what you're seeing in the viewfinder. But for Irene Vlogs, thank you very much for your support on my channel, Irene. My two surprise, surprise, gorgeous, gorgeous, majestic Dendrobium Victoria Regina blooms. They bloom for you. Thank you. Bitte Gewusi Orion, Tony Garcia, Abdil Hassan, and Skaya Perez. This is Dendrobium antenatum, and I have another spike that is just about fully in bloom here. And that is what I would like to dedicate to the four of you this spike, this whole cluster here. And I left it with one bud yet to open because I wanted to show you something and hope that it becomes obvious. And maybe I can change the light a little bit here so that we can see the intricacy of the blooms. There we go. Let's reduce that a little bit. There we go. Right. That is Dendrobium antenatum without the facade washing everything out. And this is the bud. I am in awe of this bud. It looks like a little pod of sort. It has this wonderful, wonderful structure holding on to the horns and that's what I call them, seeing as it's an antelope orchid. So here are the horns, just clinging onto the horns before they pop open. Looks like an amazing cardamom spice pod. And then of course you get the typical dendrobium spur kind of thing in the back here. Very, very beautiful. Lots and lots of blooms, very, very floriferous. Love this orchid a lot. Now let's see if I can reduce the light even further. There we go. At least we get a bit of a contrast. It might look a little bit too dark, but we're looking at the blooms for Betel Gueze Orion, Tony Garcia, Adil Hassan, and Skaya Perez. You can see I have another spike coming in the back here. It takes a long time for these buds to open, at least a week once they reach bud stage they have as yet to transform themselves into this stage and then another week before they whoop, open and then they get their little horns i had a bud blast on this one right here temperature change will do that but other than that oh my goodness look <laughs> this orchid is now well rooted in its pot Finally, it took a while, but I have to say I am glad because she is very, very top heavy and was only supported, in my opinion, by a very, very flimsy spike. Being a dendrobium, though, I didn't expect it to take long for her to get rooted in, settled in, and that is now the case. She's going absolutely nuts in the pot. Let me see if I can take you down. I know that we're going to see this orchid a lot because of all the spikes that are coming, but hey, update after update then. So all the roots that are over here are now in the pot. There's more growing on the next growth right here. Growths are coming out on all sides. Happy sap is going bonkers. Check this out. The spike is absolutely loaded with happy sap. She is a sticky orchid, but I don't care. I just wanted a proper decent antelope dendrobium in my collection and I am so glad that now I have one and it looks fabulous. Very, very pleased with this. Living up to the reputation of floriferous and super, super fragrant. So Betel Geze Orion, Tony Garcia, Adil Hassan and Skaya Perez. Dendrobium antenatum spike, honeysuckle fragrance, happy sap dripping orchid. All these blooms, they bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much 
for your support here on my channel. You're so very much appreciated. My surprise bloom of Brassicatlia gyra kiku, I dedicate to Kata Enguera. Kata Enguera and artisan art go hand in hand. That is how we met. So thank you very much for your support as well on my channel. I do listen to artisan arts lives. I mentioned that in a comment a while ago, but it is time now for you to get your bloom. And I thought it would be just wonderful to be able to present to you my Jaira Kiku here to say thank you to you for supporting me on my channel, Kata Enguera. This bloom should never have happened. It was unexpected. It was something that I just thought, well, that's it. That is another orchid in my collection that I can look back and consider history because this orchid has been through a lot and had started to decline. Now, I have a division in the back that is much, much smaller than what I had in the past years, but here we are. It is at least trying to survive and I have a gorgeous, gorgeous bloom to show for and to dedicate to you, Cata Enguera. Now this bloom has a much cleaner look than I've ever had before. It used to have a little bit of a dirty look to it, if you could say that. The petals and the sepals always had a little bit of a brownish look, even though they were clean and fresh but now she looks the way I was hoping and expecting a Brassicatlia Gyrat Kiku to look, and I'm quite proud to be able to say, yep, this bloom is worthy of a dedication, despite everything she's been through. She has been now open about three to four days, so we'll have to wait and see the strength of the orchid, how much longer she can hold on to this bloom. Of course, as you can see, I am not particularly concerned because the orchid has already rooted in again in the pot. I have high hopes that this orchid is going to make it. You never know in this hobby, but for now, I'm going to just enjoy the fact that I can say thank you, Kata Enguera, so very much for your support on my channel, and I hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. My Jairak Kiku surprise bloom. Blooms for you. Brassocatlia binosa wabash valley. Three blooms for now. I have three blooms that I can give away and say thank you to Natalia, Mr. Alessorius, and Sophia's YouTube channel. This is so late in the season for my binosa wabash valley to be blooming, but oh my goodness, I'll take it. I'll take it considering, yeah, again, I wasn't expecting to get any blooms out of this orchid at all this year. I was like, what is going on? Everybody is so delayed. And here we are, I can't believe it. She's been open now about four days and just looking absolutely marvelous. Oh, I love this bloom. So, Natalia, Mr. Alessorius, Sophia's YouTube channel, you have a bloom each from me to say thank you to you very, very much for your support. I love me green blooms. I do. I find them so remarkable. And then when you contrast them with some lip of any color, green petals and sepals and any color lip always provide such interest. And I have to say that these blooms are strong and beautiful and well, a little bit crowded here, <laughs> but they present themselves so magnificently. And yeah, they're not even delicate. So the, the Brassavola, well, that didn't do much, did it? The Brassavola cross here is really coming through with the shape and structure of the blooms. You see how they opened up overlapping each other. Um, maybe I should have just left it the way they did it. They seem to manage perfectly fine without me <laughs> fiddling around. Oh, but look at this. It's like, whoa, a landing plate. Ah, oh, these blooms just do it for me. Even the back of the petals and sepals have freckles on them. And I have two more buds to come on the second lead back here. See them there. Can you see them there? Got to watch out for the Tulumnia over there. I have Tulumnia Central going on at the moment, <laughs> but look. Oh, they're so gorgeous, even as they are in bud. Look at that. 
all those freckles. Just beautiful. So let me turn this around because those blooms we will see when they open. But here is for Natalia, Mr. Alessorios and Sophia's YouTube channel, a bloom each of my Brassocaplia Vinosa Wabash Valley, the beautiful, beautiful structured Brassavola parent blooms there. Ah, oh, yeah, I love them. So for the three of you, one bloom each. Thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. You're very much appreciated. Thank you. Oh boy, I have a break in the wind. Nature is being kind today. Nature is being kind today. Although it is a little bit chilly, there is no breeze. And I am so happy because Sandy Doughty, look at my Dendrobium sorola, the top cluster here that I would like to dedicate to you to say thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. I don't want to double up on dedicating blooms. And with the Dendrobium sorola, I'm always struggling a little bit. Have you been dedicated? Have you not been dedicated? Which cluster goes where? Because <clears throat> There's a lot going on and I don't feature her much. So in my notes, I can't exactly say this cluster belongs to that subscriber or viewer and that cluster belonged to somebody else. But what I'm going to do is these two look sus to me. I don't believe that they've been dedicated. So I'm going to take a risk here, Sandy, saying thank you to you for supporting my channel, for being here. I really appreciate it. And I'm just going to throw it out there and say, this and these two clusters, they bloom for you. I know I dedicated the one down here. Look at that, even as they fade, they go into a, like a vintage purple. I know I dedicated the cluster in here. I don't think I dedicated the cluster in here, <laughs> but you know, just to be on the safe side. And there's another cluster coming right there. So that will be next. I'm putting that on the record. When that opens, that'll be next. But just to make sure I don't miss out on giving my blooms away, Sandy Doughty, know that these three clusters, they bloom for you. Thank you so much from myself and Dendrobium sorola for your support on my channel. Anybody with a keen eye that has been watching my blooms for you videos in the past might actually be casting their gaze over to here. Surprise! I have another cluster of Sharky on the way, so we'll be seeing more of him soon. And I know now the movie is called Jaws. Everybody that brought that up in the comments when I had a real lapsus in my head, I couldn't remember the movie, my goodness. So, Jaws, but no, he's called Sharky, is on the way. Anywho, it's about Dendrobium sorola. Before the angle of the sun interferes too much, and casts a shadow over these gorgeous blooms. Sandy Doughty, thank you very, very much for your support. I hope that you enjoyed the spectacle and I hope this video wasn't too long. I appreciate that you're still here and I wanna say thank you so much for your time for watching, for commenting, for supporting my channel. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Whatever it is that you're doing, just make sure on one condition that you stay safe and take care. Bye.